to prove that cos a minus sin a equal to plus minus 1 and the given is cos a plus sin a equal to 1. So let's see the answer. So first here I'm going to write the given cos a plus sin a it's equal to 1. The first important thing we need to do the squaring on the both side. So doing a squaring on both sides. So after that here we can write cos a plus sin a whole a square and this is now 1 a square. So let's use here a plus b whole square formula. This is equal to cos a square a plus sin a square a and this is now 2 cos a into sin a and the value of 1 square that is 1 and then after here we know cos a square a plus sin a square a the value is 1 so if I do like that we can't get the output so for this one we need to convert cos a square a we have the formula 1 minus sin a square a so this we can write and sin a square a we can write 1 minus cos a square a just to doing the conversion then 1 plus 1 that we can get and this we can write here 2 sin a into cos a it's equal to 1 and then after 1 plus 1 that is 2 and here minus sin a square a minus cos a square a that is now 2 sin a into cos a it's equal to 1 then after the next thing is this 2 moving or um, moving out of equal so there we can write here minus sin a square a minus cos a square a plus 2 sin a into cos a that's equal to 1 minus 2 thereafter we can here take the common minus so this is now sin a square a plus cos a square a and this is here minus 2 sin a into cos a and 1 minus 2 that's equal to minus 1 thereafter here you can see or uh, both side has the minus that cancel minus minus and we know a square suppose sin here a this is now b and minus 2 a into b that is a minus b whole square is the formula so here we can write sin a minus cos a whole a square it's equal to 1 and I'm going to check what exactly we need to prove that so here cos a minus sin a we need to prove that okay so here you can also write this one so if you take the minus there is no any problem so or you can write here cos a minus sin a whole square equal to 1 so minus 1 a square that's uh, equal to 1 only so if you take here minus common then that is equal to cos a minus sin a after that uh, the next uh, thing is here so here we can write cos a minus sin a then here I'm going to uh, here square is there so this side so this side moving so that is convert that is now equal to root 1 and root 1 has the two values one is positive one is negative so this we can write plus minus equal to 1 so I think this we need to get that so you can see here cos a minus sin a that is equal to plus minus 1 so here we can write it's a proved if that ask about uh, this one not there if the questions uh, that ask about sin a minus cos a then here what exactly you need to do so remove the s card so for that one on the right side that become root 1 so sin a minus cos a we can write plus minus 1 so this is the way we can prove this question so one time going to uh, repeat this all 
So first here, taking the given cos a plus sin a equal to 1. Do the squaring on the both side. Then here you can get cos a square a plus sin a square a plus 2 sin cos a into sin a. So cos a square a we can write 1 minus sin a square a plus sin a square a we can write 1 minus cos a square a. And this we can write 2 sin a into cos a. Then after 1 plus 1 that is 2 sin a square a minus cos a square a this on 1. After that 2 moving on the right so 1 minus 2 then after take the minus common then this is the based on the formula a square plus b square minus 2 a b that is a minus b so sin a is the a cos a is the b so that we can write sin a minus cos a whole square equal to 1 now I check that cos a minus sin a we need to get that okay so that uh, here just taking the common minus then it's now it's equal to cos a minus sin a whole square equal to 1. Now I remove the root sorry I remove the square so that on the right side that's equal to root 1 and root has the two value one is the positive one is the negative. So this is the way we can prove this question so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see next week thank you.